the donkey of the day. Donkey of the day for Monday, January, no, February 5th. Black History Month goes to Raven Simone. Now, over the weekend, a meme was floating around that was a picture from the Rock Nation brunch. In the picture was T.I., Jay-Z, Diddy, Swiss Beats, Big Sean, Yo Gotti, Elliot Wilson, just to name a few. A host of other black men who were just celebrating their life on a fine Saturday afternoon. And the caption read, a group of so-called successful black men, in parentheses it says, mine is Khaled racially, who became rich and famous from perpetuating the worst black stereotypes to the ears and eyes of the whole planet, like drug dealing, pimping, murdering other black men and disrespecting black women. Uh, I know making observations is being a hater. Cheers. Now, I don't know who this post originated from, but Raven Simone reposted it from speech from Arrested Development. Uh, speech, my brother, come on. You of the culture, you know better than that. First of all, you stereotyped and profiled a whole group of black men Based off the lyrical content of the few of, of a few of the brothers in the picture, okay, Elliot Wilson not even a rapper, right? <laughs> he he's a journalist, okay. I have never heard Big Sean talk about drug dealing or murdering other black men, and I don't even know what majority of the guys in this picture do or who they are. So why profile and stereotype a whole group of men based off the lyrical content of a few? Now, Raven Simone she reposted that with a set of emojis. Uh, the monocle emoji, the mouthless face, and a yellow heart that suggested she agreed with the sentiment of the of the meme. Now, T.I. replied to Raven Simone with an Oscar Wilde quote, and I love this quote. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. I repeat, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. And he added the caption, your sins ain't no greater than ours, man. The air must be thin as hell up there on that high horse you sitting on. Somebody please let me know. WTF up with shorty. I'll tell you what's up with Shorty. The same thing that's up with this whole era. We truly live in an era that would have never let Malcolm Little become Malcolm X. I say that all the time because if you ever read the autobiography of Malcolm X, to me, that's the greatest story of transformation in American history. Okay, Malcolm Little was drug dealing, gambling, pimping, robbing, but he grew to be one of the greatest human rights activists the world has ever seen. But I believe if he was alive in this era, soon as he started to make the transition, you know, from the streets to the mosque, Y'all would have hit him with the, oh, you a Muslim now. No more dope games. Y'all would have kept bringing up his past and would have never taken Malcolm X serious because of his past as Malcolm Little. For whatever reason in this era, nobody believes in the concept of growth and evolution anymore. In the words of Muhammad Ali, a man who sees the world at 50 the same way he did when he was 30 has wasted 20 years of his life. People change. OK, the people in that picture have grown and evolved right before our eyes. So why are we still judging them off the sins of their past? Raven Simone, what if everywhere you went, people still called you Olivia Kendall? What if people disregarded everything you did after the Cosby show? What if they disregarded that? So Raven, The View, Empire, the albums you were putting out, even though they should, everything, and just referred to you as Olivia Kendall. Wouldn't you be annoyed that people aren't acknowledging your growth and only acknowledge you as Denise's stepchild and Martin's daughter? Social media causes everyone to be able to create this illusion of perfection, but the problem is that's not the reality of life. There is no such thing as perfection. But nowadays, y'all are able to go years without showing people your flaws, okay? You, don't, you can go years without showing people all the times y'all effed up, all the times you made mistakes. Nobody sees those. So you start believing that you are indeed as perfect as your Instagram displays. So you sit on your high horses and judge others as if your bleep don't stink. Yes, those brothers used to rap about selling drugs. Yes, those brothers used to disrespect women in their, in their music. Yes, those brothers rapped about killing people. But art reflects life, so they were rapping about the life they knew. But when you know better, you do better, in the words of Maya Angelou. And maybe, you know, something wrong with my eyes, but I see all the OGs in that picture from Swiss to Jay to Diddy to T.I. all doing better and teaching better at this point in their lives. So what's the problem, Raven Simone? What's the problem speech from Arrested Development? Can we all not remember 1 Corinthians 13, 11? When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. I see all those brothers doing that. And I would rather listen to somebody who lived it and changed and grew than listen to someone who's been through nothing but is always casting judgment. Social media really got y'all believing your own lies. Really got y'all believing y'all false displays of perfection. Okay? Them brothers are grown now. And to Raven Simone and whoever else likes to judge other people for the sins of their past, always remember that making mistakes is way better than faking perfections. Please give Raven Simone the biggest e haw, please. I'm just saying, Jesus Christ, please don't judge me for what I was in my 20s or my teens. All right. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.